Good morning Spartans. Welcome to your final project. This is an example, one that I did moments ago. You're going to choose all of the same CSS styling that is presented in the video tutorial. Uh, you're going to refer to the website that um, will list the requirements that you need, including three photos of a famous person, or rather three portraits, a photo associated with that person, and a quote. And I would like the copyright for the footer and the name uh, to introduce that person. Okay. A couple of other effects that we have are drop shadows. This is a, a one column, um, uh, considered a one column layout. Okay. Um, if I were to take the CSS off, okay. So in other words, I could uh, come to my link here delete it and save all and come back to my Safari and you will see a before and after. Pretty plain, isn't it? This is where the header was and those photos don't show up because the photos were used as background images but there's the quote and the copyright so pretty pretty amazing what CSS will do for you but of course I need to put that back so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that back in I'm gonna save it again come back to Safari and refresh Okay, so I'm going to start from scratch, and um, along the way I'm going to be pausing to skip ahead, uh, but I'll be explaining everything you must do, and um, you should have no problem following along, okay? This will involve some Photoshop so that we can get those pictures uh, edited to the correct size, but there will be no slicing as I mentioned. Okay, so I'm sure you're happy about that. We also are going to add a background color. Okay, um, when you choose your own colors, please make sure, again, it's your own. You don't use mine. Um, all you're going to be copying is the code. Okay, and just tweaking the content. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Minimize my window, and let's see. This is the final project details that you must look over under Graphic Arts. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first type in Usain Bolt, and he's my chosen famous person. Okay, what you're going to want to do. I'm going to pause the video soon, but what you're going to want to do is bring in three portraits into Photoshop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause my video, and when I come back, you'll see my three portraits inside um, Photoshop. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have three photos. Command N, and it'll say clipboard, and I just called this bolt one, bolt two, bolt three. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go do my cropping. And what I'm going to do is type in 200px, 200px, and I'll just keep it at 72. And bring that over here and double click. I'm going to keep these all squares. So I'm just going to use the same crop and I'll do double click and come over here and do double click. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and save Web and Devices. And I'm not sure which one. It's probably this third one. Perfect. Um, and I made a folder on my on my desktop. You should do the same thing. And I called my folder. Um, let's see what is it called. My folder is called Deconti Final Biography Biography Final. Okay. And I'm gonna save it there. Close that up. Uh, don't save. I don't need that anymore. I'm gonna save the next one. And it'll be in the same folder. Close that up. Don't save. File save for web and devices. Save. And save. Okay. I'm going to close that up. I'm not going to save it. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find another image. This one is going to be a non portrait. And I'm going to have this one now technically even though it's it's him it's not considered a portrait um, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click uh, do that again right click copy image and go back into Photoshop new and I'll just call this sprint make it easy folks make it easy Okay, I'm going to click OK and then do Command V. And this one's going to be the large photo. And let's see what the size is. I got to look at my cheat sheet here. Okay, my size is going to be 760 by 300. And that's actually bigger. Than, the crop is going to be a little bit bigger. 760 PX by 300 PX. And I'm going to go ahead and crop that. And kind of like that. Sort of crop them at the head. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to save for web and devices. And save. And it's called Sprint. And click Save again. OK. And I'm not going to save. I don't need that. OK. I'm going to go ahead and get out of my, uh, actually I'll just keep Safari open since I'm going to be needing that. So now I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. I'm going to close this up, close this up, close all my code. And what we need to do is we need to define a website. Okay. So I'm going to go up to Site, New Site, and call this Biography site. Okay, we'll click next, next again, and where do I want this? I'm going to choose my desktop, and I'm going to choose that folder I made called the Conti Biography Final, excuse me, and I'm going to click choose, make sure it says that here, and click next, and we got to get that folder again choose, click next again, and next, and done. And there it is. I'm going to click new HTML, I'm going to go to my code, and I'm going to get started. Okay? So I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is title this Usain Bolt Gallery. Perfect. And let's see, design, save as, and no need to call this index, we can just call it uh, biography, and I'll put bolt, um, underscore bolt, okay, save it to my folder here, and you can see it's good to go. And let's preview this in Safari. There you go, Usain Bolt Gallery. All right, next. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create 
my HTML. Okay? The CSS will come later. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a div tag and a layout object. Now, if you want to just hand do this, you're welcome to do it, but I suppose you should probably um, probably do what I'm doing here. We're going to cl click OK, and there it is, div ID. Okay. Next in line is my header that has to go um, between the div tags of the wrapper, so I'm going to just move that all the way down. Okay, so my header is also a div tag, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that layout div tag. Okay, and we're going to call this header, and it's going to be an ID, and there it is. Now, what I'm going to put in here is a p tag, so I'm just going to get rid of the uh, that content there, and I'm going to call this Usain Bolt Gallery. Okay, and there you go. Okay, from there, um, we're going to go ahead and have a content ID, but that's going to be below the header. So I'll just get my cursor below and insert layout div tag. Okay, we're going to call this content. So in the content is where all the pictures go. So this is all below the header. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is delete the content uh, placeholder text there. Okay, see what I'm doing? All right. I'm going to indent, so you can see, indenting a couple times, and I'm just going to hand code this. Sometimes it's easier for me. And I'm going to call this image, capital B-I-G, capital F-R-A-M-E. So big frame, and I'm going to close that up. Okay. So this is going to hold, my, it's a large div tag that's going to hold my images. And now, um, the next one I'm going to do is called an image holder. Okay. The image holder is going to contain an image. And in this one is going to be a class. And we haven't used the class um, tag before or the class selector. Okay. But um, I'll explain that a little later why we're doing that. And um, let's see, I'll call this uh, inside here, we'll put a P tag. And we'll call this, I'm going to put Usain. Okay. And I'm going to pause the video briefly, and I'll be right Okay, so I had to clean some stuff up. So this closing div goes to this image holder. Inside that is div class called image. And to the right of that, is Usain. If you look right here, you can see that. Okay. Now, we go to a split view. I'm going to take all this right here, okay, and I'm going to copy it. All right. So I'm going to copy that, Command C, and I'm, what I'm going to do is Hit return a couple times, Command V. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. This is where my three pictures are gonna go. So you see how I've uh, gotten the order there. Okay, image holder, image holder, image holder. Okay, next, um, 